Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys we're going to take a look at a gorgeous 1966 Ford Mustang convertible. It is a uh, GT350 uh, uh, tribute. Uh, neat car guys. I bought it from a guy out of Georgia. He's had this car for quite some time. It is an older restoration but very well maintained and I'll tell you what a really good car car runs and drives excellent good solid Georgia body this is the original color candy apple red of course they've added the um, all the Shelby trim and the uh, uh, Shelby uh, uh, deck lid and hood stripes but neat car man uh, factory 289 seacode car uh, they've upgraded it now. It would have been a factory, a two-barrel. They've upgraded it to a four-barrel. Uh, they put air on it. It's a four-speed car. Uh, really just a cool car. Like I say, if you're looking for something that runs and drives good, I think you're really going to like this car. Car sits good. It's got a great look to it. Again, it's convertible, four-speed, air. Uh, it's got the Kelsey Hayes uh, aluminum wheels on it. BF Goodrich Radio TAs all the way around it. I liked it and uh that's why i bought it like I say neat car and uh fun car if you're looking for something fun to drive i think you're really going to like this car i apologize we uh we actually had it pulled out we shot some pictures of it got shot uh, sidetracked here a little bit and uh we pulled it back in and then we pulled it out and for some reason our gauges have stopped working little nitpick a uh, little uh, touch up mark right there there's a few things in the paint as we go around and try to point them out. Um, but yeah, because everything on this car works. I don't know if we pop the fuse or getting in and out of it. If Nathan with his big old size 15s, and you can see we got some little water droplets on it. it all of a sudden, rain just come out of nowhere. I think it's going to be one of those days. But everything on this car worked, and uh, all of a sudden, it's it's not working. There's a, you can see it's got a little bullseye right there in the paint. That's probably the worst spot if I'm going to point out something in the car. Power antenna, it works. Like I say, everything on the, this car worked. It's got a pretty cool tack in it. We'll show you that as we go back around. Uh, all the windows go up and down real nice. They fit up nice too. It's got the factory parchment interior. We do have the boot for the car. Uh, we just pulled it off so it'd be a little bit easier uh, to put the top up here in the video. Good car. Car's got a good look to it. A little stone pack right there. It's got all the GT350 trim on it. Pretty car, sorry. All of a sudden the rain, it's gonna be one of those days where it just started pouring out of nowhere, so we had to pull it in and wipe it back down. <laughs> you can see the car's nice and straight down the sides. Um, it's got the Shelby side scoops on it. It's a cool car and a fun car to go bang the gears in. As it starts to spit rain again, we're going to hustle through this thing to get this thing done. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be like this most of the day today. Pretty little car, man. Sorry about the water droplets, guys. Not much we can do. Welcome to Michigan. Again, original 289 car. This one's been pumped up a little bit. They put the Holly four barrel on it. It's got a Cobra aluminum intake. Mallory uh, Unilite distributor in it. Does have aftermarket air. Power steering, power front disc brakes. Again, four speed manual trans. And like I say, a really good car. Hits the road good. Original VIN is still on your inner fender there. Sorry about the little water droplets, guys.
A-pillar chrome is pretty doggone nice. New mirrors. Definitely got new door handles. You can see the original door tag on it. Again, it is a factory candy apple red car. Bucket seats. It's got the pretty cool uh, uh, Cobra steering wheel on it. Factory dash. Again, everything on that thing worked. 82,952. That's the uh, that is the original miles. I don't know if we popped a fuse or like I said we've unplugged something. Oh, it's got that cool uh, Cobra tack on it. AM FM radio. The air works. The tack works. Uh, parking brake works. Power top works. Uh, dual exhaust. Factory rear end. ripping up here it's got the spare here in the trunk I hope I can get this back see it is all painted in here new fuel tank it's nice underneath got it up on the hoist got some good pictures of the bottom of the car for you Fun little driver. I think you'll have a blast with this car. It's always fun to shift gears. I'm not a big air guy personally, but uh, I know a lot of people like it, and you don't see it on convertibles a whole lot. Seats are nice. Got the Cobra shifter knob on there. Go ahead and have Nathan fire it up here. Blows cold, he just kicked it out for you. Kick down works. Don't jump me out of here. Oh, we got a blinker on up there. Go ahead, you guys get it down. Or the, when I say kick down, the uh, choke works, I meant. Again, I'm not real sure what's going on. All those gauges work. We'll make sure that that's working. Tack works. Uh, again, parking brake works. Go ahead and put that top up, Nathan. Nathan's got those big old size 15s. Right there, yep. Top's in good shape. It's got the plastic rear window. That's good, yep. Right turn signal's already on, Nathan. Yep, brake lights. Hopefully, guys, left turn signal right. Brake lights. Get your brakes. Hard to see. There you go. Reverse. Make sure you kick it down. Nope. Yeah. Should kick it down first. Brake lights work or uh, reverse lights work. Radio works. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, turn it on. Lower motor works. See your power antenna just went up. Wipers. We might need them here in a second. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. Kick it down before you put it in gear. Uh, make, uh, uh, keep track of our inventory. At uh, you can do that at our, on our Facebook page, um, or you can also do that on our Instagram page. Uh, or it's always, uh, actually make sure you, uh, um, sorry I'm getting all this bobbled here. 
uh, subscribe to our U uh, YouTube page. That way you can get the notification every single time I post one of these videos. Or as always, guys, pick up the phone, give us a call, 248-620-3355. Have a great day, guys.